Hi everybody, this is Putty or Nick from Teamwork Cast. This is Net Running with Teamwork Cast. We I guess this is the second time we'll do it, so I'll say again. We're gonna try and switch it up a little bit. This is a tournament that I recorded on the 20th of uh, September at the Adventurers Guild in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, the people that are running here, this is Tony. We refer to him as Tony the Pony. I don't know if he likes that name or not, but that's what we'd call him. Against Jake, who is running Kate this time. I think it's Kate. And I am Christian, and I live in a giant bucket. <sighs> Do you poop in your bucket? Tuesday is coming. Did you bring a coat? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm just disappointed that you don't can't quote uh, Don Herzfeld's uh, Don Herzfeld's movies uh, verbatim. I'm the Queen of France. <laughs> so in the first round, I was really amazed by the first round by Jake's NEH deck. Yeah. I was also surprised by what Tony brought up with 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 um, uh, noise. That we saw a Corona here. So generally, like very typical uh, choices for IDs, but very untypical choices for deck building. So I'm wondering what those two guys are going to bring on the table now. This is a uh, your standard fair RP deck. He found it on the internet, and I had to play against it. I can't tell you how many times. That's what you just said to you? Yeah. All right. So this is RP. Uh, so the ability is that the runner will have to run on a central server before he can run on a smart remote server. Yeah. I, it's uh, the wizard deck I was testing. I could beat this deck pretty well. So that was nice. But it's obnoxious. And if that's a Kate, then the first time he will install, uh, Jake will install a hardware or a software, he will have to, uh, he will, it will cost one, one less. Is that a current? So, I don't know what it is, man. What is that? I think it might be Cerebral Static. Oh, our listeners will know because we will have like a beautiful card. It is Cerebral Static, yes. So it is a current, you are right. Ah, so, and this just says uh, the runner's identity text box is blank. So now uh, Jake won't no longer get that, um, that discount that we are talking of. Yeah. And interestingly, the, the, the interesting thing is that Tony installed something on archives. And not on HQ, which is weird, right? I suppose it is. Because why would you put like archives now? It's not even like noise or something. Because it's most so, likely a crick. I'm going what? to say. What? There's a run on uh, on the R and D, and that is the cortex lock. Oh jeez. That hurts. The cortex lock. It does one net damage for every uh, unused MU. So yeah, there and there's four. four unused MUs. There were uh, four cards on hand. All cards has been lost. No access, because this could be like a fetal AI, and he would be just dead. Yeah. Instead, instead, uh, Jacks out and draws a card. And I think you agree with you. I think that eyes on archives. We have to assume that is a crick. Uh, crick is very useful on archives, but nowhere else. So it makes sense to leave HQ open, especially against the shaper, who um, who do usually doesn't have like a huge way to punish an open HQ. I think I've only ever had Crick matter on another server once. Sometimes, sometimes you can do it. Some, I mean, if the runner has hard times tra um, breaking um, code gates, that can be a good thing. So we see Tony um, close up the HQ, uh, and now Jake has to really, you know, catch up with all the all the cards that he tra trashed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of all of the ice to face plan into, this is you know you see remnants of metas of old. I wish I had my, uh, well, no, I can't even remember the name of it, my fairy. Yeah, fairy. Mm -hmm. Fairy would have been great. Oh, but, you know, we, it could have been worse because I saw that Jake had a um, uh, astrolabe on hand. So if he had installed that astrolabe, he would have been just dead. Yeah. So you know, it's it's there's always it could always be worse. So Tony installs an, an upgrade, uh, upgrade in the remote server, an asset in the remote server, and Jake really has to think about this now. He keeps throwing cards. And I mean, if this is your standard fair PvP 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 Kate deck, PvP PvP PvP. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's it is. Uh, he's slowed it's, her it's down so. quite a lot. Well, there's a free, first prepaid. I hope he paid two credits for this. <laughs> I think he did. Or no, he didn't, did he? I I will I later on when I add the credit accounts, I will I will uh, tell you guys. There will be a smart text if if he made a mistake. 
Uh, so we hear the same old thing. Now he's starting the Gordian Blade. Nice. Uh, so the code gates can be broken. Of course, no code gates out that we can um, we can see right now. We have to assume that there is a crick on the archives, and I think Jake uh, thinks that as well. There is a Jackson Howard being rest and used to draw cards. I think of any times that he could have gone and tested to see what that card was was last turn. Now, now there's nothing in there to punish him. Oh, now there but is. But then it's like Tony would never have rest this. That's if true. There is nothing. But he could have done something like a um, uh, dirty laundry on there. Yeah. It would have been hilarious if that was yet another cortex lock. <laughs> <laughs> it's like psych. Ah, uh, freaking Jinteki. Mm, Fantasy uh, Flight's new expansion. Jinteki is removed and disbanded. Followed yeah. quickly by Wayland. Ice uh, glacier decks from now on only. Well, NBN is still there. Then. That's true. NBN Glacier then. All right, so we see a, a clone shop installed from Jake. Meanwhile, Tony uh, continues uh, his uh, to expand his empire of assets. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to break the internet, as it mm. were. No money. Oh wow, this took me a while. <laughs> Uh, break the internet, Jake. Uh, Tony. All right, so Jake uh, gets out. Is, is, did you play the Shrug Gamble this time? Yeah, yeah, he did. He played another one. More money. All right, and speaking of money, Tony now reses two mental health clinics. Nice. Uh, ooh, oh, uh, get rid of a stim a hack. Stim hack. That's uh, something that you really need against RP because they are usually those glacier type of. Of um, of um, corporations that really where they create servers that cost a lot of money, Stimhack is the right uh, right thing to do against this. But I'm guessing that Jake has much better cards on hand, and of course there's st it's still available through the same old thing. Mm -hmm. And Tony just gets credits. Diesel, diesel up. I am Gorot. And there's the lady. Ah, uh, Cody. She's a lady. There's so many songs that you can you can uh, sing when Lady comes out. Well, it's literally when you play Netrunner, you just sit there and recite memes over and over. Yeah. That's true. That's very much Netrunner. Yeah, yeah. So there's she's a lady, but recently you had all the sing ladies. You can also say that. <laughs> all the single ladies. You just put it out and you say, "I've put a ring on it." Uh 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 uh. uh. All right, so install in that server, which turns out to be a scoring server. Now there is an ice in front, and there is an upgrade inside. Now there is a gender with an uh, with a counter on this. Uh, but Jake might be in a situation to actually contest the server now. He does have SSMC. He does have all his breakers uh, if he uses SSMC to get his final breaker. So we see a dirty laundry on HQ. There is no rest. So now, now Jake will get even additional credits for the, for this. I don't know if that's a scoring window that Tony is doing here right now. Seeing a crick on the HQ, Nick. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Ooh. Oh, no. And that is uh, uh, Susano no Mikoto. Susan. Susan. As we call it. Is there a song with Susan? Uh, probably. So what this ice does, for those who don't know, like me, who played this deck and sat there and went, what? <laughs> uh, if not already running on archives, the runner is now running on archives instead of passing Su Susan herself. The runner cannot jack out until after he or she encounters a piece of ice. Oh, um, we saw Tony make a small mistake. He should have rest Caprice Nisei in a moment when he rest uh, Susan. Yeah. Mm, but I guess Jake... Jade, uh, Jake allows him to do this. So I think we're going to see an admin strength. What's the strength of Susan? Six? Uh, seven. Admin strength seven it is then. Wow. So uh, the store that these guys are playing at, the Adventurers Guild, they have these dice uh, that the store... Fronted. What? what? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. How did they play the Psy game just now? So the die has zero, one, or two credits. 
And so you put it behind a card, and you turn it to whatever you want, and then you reveal it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's very... Uh, it's... Okay, they're playing it again. Yeah. All right, so now access nice. He gets the Nisei. Jake gets into this scoring server now and then scores the Nisei Mark II. Very important for Jake. Again, Tony was risking it a little bit. Although behind Susan, I can understand why he thought this might be a secure server after all. Yeah, it's kind of a... I think he was sort of, you know, after running into the Cortex lock, Jake's going to be playing very uh, conservatively. So he's probably hoping yeah. he doesn't want to try and run on it. But yeah. on the plus side, Jake has now spent all of his money... And so a poor PvP B B P K is uh is that, a, a is, is that yet another? Yeah, he put out Cerebral Static again. Oh wow. And then sell two cards and that's go into that scoring server. Well, it's not a scoring server anymore because, of course, now Jake has a, the right tool uh, for the job, the right tool to get into the server with the admin strength seven. Um, and but he instead ins decides to play the uh, lucky find. He found this. He found this. He found this. I always think of you when I play this card because it looks sort of like you. That's a woman on, on the card. Well, maybe I think of you as a woman. That's okay. Because there's a Kristen in my life. That's true. That's not awkward at all. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. So I was actually thinking of Easy Mark. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, Easy Mark is, is more my cards because I'm also an Easy Mark. Oh uh, no! So there is a install of the um, uh, prepaid voice pad, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, oh no! He, he, and Jake was discarding a lot of cards, but he, then he realized, oh wait a minute, uh, Tony has uh, the, all those mental health clinics installed, yeah. and now I can keep all of my cards on my hand. Jake secretly wishing he was running Faust right now. Faust would be nice. Maybe not so secretly. Ooh. Maybe openly. Oh my god, turn that pop-up window the other way! I can't take this! Uh, my OCD <laughs> is flaring up, Nick. Oh my god! Trigger, trigger. Uh. <laughs> I need, like, a cortisone tablet now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I gotta going, go get some Xanax. I'm, I'm going into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> I think that wasn't that a house episode where somebody watched a YouTube video and then somebody installed like an ice upside down and the other guy was like, Whoa. What? Oh my god. His liver is failing. It's lupus. <laughs> it's the upside uh, in ice install lupus. <laughs> All right, Jake keeps drawing cards. And yet another lucky find. I found this. And then a clone chip. Yeah, I think I don't know how how you think about this, but I feel like Jake is like in a very safe spot right now. He um, he has he can get in everywhere he wants to yeah. if he wants to. So it's really all about him just preparing the next attack. Tony uh, he stopped Tony from scoring out his agenda, and Tony really has to like set up a whole new scoring server to keep Jake out. So. Jake can be like, all right, Tony, do your thing. I'm going to just sit back, get my credits up to later on do Are some kind of vicious me? attack. I think he just installed a crick in front and replaced the Susan. I mean, that's that's a very perfectly fine decision. I mean, the Susan doesn't do anything. It's one credit yeah. for, for Jake to get through there. And then we see a hedge fund. I mean, Tony is super rich. Yeah. He's like, he likes, he's like Tony Stark. <laughs> But so is Jake. Yeah, so is Jake. So Jake is like Kate Upton. Is that a Because he's playing Kate. Oh, never mind. There's a Komino indeed. And so um, Jake recurs the Deus X to break the Komino. And then there's a uh, Cortex lock. And now Jake is in a w awkward position. He decides to get, eat one net damage and he eats the clot, discards the clot, which is fine to discard because I don't think that Tommy will be doing any fast advance. And he sees a lotus field. That's uh, not very difficult ice for Jake to break, but its uh, agenda would have been nicer. Now Jake runs on that, that server that might be a scoring server. There's no advancement there and there's no rest. That's a Caprice Nisei that is not being rest, so she can be at rest immediately. And there's an ash and trash at ash, as we say. Trash at that ash. I was getting two out of here, that's why I said. Sorry. Oh, I think Tony's having a bad time now. 
Yeah, I think that the uh, momentum of this game has shifted in favor of Jake. I have a feeling they're going to split. Don't tilt, Tony, don't tilt. Uh, Jake installs a parasite on that Komainu, and that is very, very painful. Because next turn this Komainu will be dead, and, and Tony just basically flushed five credits down the toilet. <laughs> but there is an opportunity here, because Jake is very low on credits now. Yeah. Sadly, this scoring server has been completely disassembled. Alright, and then last click is going to be Tony gets a credit, Nick. Tony gets a credit. That should be the name of this episode. Oh. <laughs> I think he did a bit more stuff. <laughs> Uh, now that the babies hit the table, all bets are off. And the babies hit, hit the table indeed. Man, the babies hit the table doesn't... that sounds brutal. Don't shake your baby, don't make your baby hit the table. You know what? In the world of Netrunner they've fixed the shaken baby syndrome, so it's okay. What's with baby shake? I don't understand. Why would anybody shake a baby? Because you just want it to stop. And shaking helps? No. So, so why would you think that it helps? Because people are frustrated. Maybe maybe that's something that become, becomes more obvious to us when I have a baby. So now I can then I can understand why I shouldn't shake the baby. Oh, I mean I know how I should I shouldn't shake the baby, but I know why you should shake the baby, <laughs> why, why, or why you would shake the baby. You know, now, if why you're you digging yourself a hole, let's just I know, just, right? Let's just stop. Stop. All right, but you know this is the symmetrical visage, so you can hit it hit the table with it. Yeah, yeah. And he will get a credit uh, the first time he draws a card each turn. Now Tony installs a card in his scoring server and advances it once. Uh oh. And he, there's an upgrade in there as well. So maybe, maybe this is a now something that Jake has no access to. And you know, Jake really doesn't have the credits. Nah, he's uh, trashing all that stuff has made him incredibly poor. Uh oh, architect. Uh oh, and now speaking of poor, now he runs on R&D uh, and that is indeed the architect. Let's see if Jake has an answer to this. All right, it fires! It fires, Nick! Oh, man. Now things are about to get real. Freaking architect, man. There is... I, I guess Jake didn't have any kind of breaker in his in his um, archives. He could install an SMC, I would assume. Yeah, but he doesn't have but the money he, for it. He doesn't have the money... Oh, well, I guess he could, he could have the money to just install it, but he don't, can't break it anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, this is really a bad situation for him. On the other hand, the Cortex does nothing. Yeah. Uh, so he gets on through. He gets through, but it's not going to be an agenda because Tony knows exactly what it is. And now I think one of the upgrades that has got, got trash now is even installed in that scoring server. Yeah, he put an ash down oh. in that server. So Tony, Tony, you are maybe about to to get rewarded through your, with your patience uh, by your patience. Oh, film critic. Oh. Anita Sarkisian hits the table. <laughs> oh, uh, there is a run. Uh, he wants to rest the... the um, oh, he's letting him the, through. The Lotus, Lotus field, but he decides not to do it. Instead, he reses the Caprice Nisei and an Ash. Ooh, there is a really, a really... I mean, whew, Psy game. Uh, Tony has just two credits left. He bets zero. And then Trace goes off. Wins, uh, Jake wins the side game, but now the trace goes off. Oh, uh, what? So he used the, the prepaid voice pad and the whatever to pump up the trace a little bit. I don't understand why. No, no. no he didn't. Oh, he didn't? No, you cannot use the prepaid voice pad to pump up the trace. Uh, not the prepaid, yeah. Oh, really? He, but he had one uh, one credit, uh, one link already, so he paid three credits to get through the trace and uh, just accessed the agenda. He didn't trash any of the upgrades, though. So the upgrades are still live. Yeah. And there goes. So interesting. So he got two uh, NAPDs, but server is still uh, like a, a threat right now. Yeah. I guess we'll right. try it again. Install, advance, and credit. And he knows that it's a lotus field there because Tony revealed it accidentally. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but 
it's it's going to be tough, but because if even if um, Tony, uh, if Jake runs on there, Tony has to rest in Rotor's field. That would uh, basically create a situation where he doesn't have the money anymore to play the Psy game yeah. properly. Oh, leg work. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Tony is really struggling financially here. Another? <laughs> Another architect. Oh, Jake, do you have an answer to this? Nope. And I guess that he might use it to install an agenda if he has one in his hand to get it out. I don't know. Is, is that the last click? Mm, I'm not sure. He doesn't have a click tracker. Yeah. Don't, don't know myself. Uh, something was installed. I think it was installed off screen. <laughs> did didn't you did you tell them to to keep everything on the map? You know, I did. But the the big problem is that everybody's now playing weird, super horizontal decks. That's true. And so, like harpsichord, and like even me with uh, industrial genomics, everything just starts getting crazy. Uh, yeah. Things are getting crazy. That's a good definition to the current state of the meta. Oh, interesting. So, Jake, Tony, installed something in that scoring server and overwritten the whatever was in there. That's pretty entertaining. Huh. That's so odd. I mean, if he's gonna lose his agenda then there's not much you can do, but... Well, now he no longer can rest that ice in front of there. Yeah. So Jake probably would have just run on there, and there would be a Psy game. Jake would still probably have the credits to get to the, to the Ash Trace. All right, so that is going to be an... Uh, Komainu in front of the scoring server. Now, the interesting thing is... So he's paying for the, for the install. This is a weird choice here because Tony is going so low on his credits. There will be an access, there's no res anymore. Data sucker tokens, oof. Oh, oh and that's game, Nick. That that's is game. What? There's, a, there's a priority requisition in here? What? Why didn't he just install? Uh, that was. Uh, oh. A I, Sunday? Wow. Hmm. Huh. Man, mm. poor Tony. Yeah, I don't think he could. He just never really managed to capitalize on that uh, that first initial run. I think Tony make made some mistakes. I think he also tried to score in Jenna at a point where it, didn't, it wasn't quite as secure as it probably should have been. Yeah, considering how much money Jake had, yeah, I think that it was a good idea to bait him into mm. getting into that server. But I don't know if I would have put Anise down. I don't know, maybe Tony didn't expect the Strength 7 admin. It's kind of like a weird play, yeah. but if the runner is so uh, so rich, it's, it's actually something I already saw being used against me. Yeah. Because otherwise, of course, the uh, architect, no, the, not the architect, the Sunlazano Mikoto is a big problem and a lot of shapers don't really have a good answer to it. Yeah. All right, so we are going to move on. This was the first round of this tournament and we're going to move on to the second round of the tournament where I think we're going to see a very, very special player, Nick. Uh, is it me? Maybe it is. Oh. Uh, let's see about that. I don't want to commentate my own game. Oh my god. Uh, so you know what, what, what we're going to do instead then? Uh, we're going to hack the planet. Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.